Hi. Today I'd like to talk to you about a xanthine alkaloid called 137-trimethylxanthine, or as it's more commonly known, caffeine. So I'm not going to patronize you by telling you that caffeine is a stimulant. Although, by telling you I'm not going to patronize you and then saying the thing that I said I was going to patronize you with might actually in itself be patronizing. Moving on! So what we're going to cover is uh, doses, common doses that you're going to see in products, maximum safe doses, what the lethal dose of caffeine is, and why caffeine and alcohol go so well together, i.e. vodka and Red Bulls, rum and Cokes, and so on and so forth. According to Health Canada, up to 400 milligrams a day is considered a safe dose. These are based on the fact of studies that have been done on liver metabolism and liver toxicity and high levels of caffeine intake. So, if you take in more than 400 milligrams of caffeine a day, there is a chance that liver damage can occur. This ranges anywhere from 4 to 600 milligrams a day. Taking in that high level of caffeine doesn't necessarily mean you are going to get liver damage, it just means that there's the possibility of getting the liver damage. Whereas less than 400 milligrams a day, that's generally not seen. So how much caffeine is in the average products that we take in every day? Well, if you have caffeine pills like I do, each of these little pills are 200 milligrams each. So two of those pills, I'm already at my daily limit. I also happen to be drinking a Monster Energy drink right now, which has 166 milligrams of caffeine in it. So if I take one caffeine pill and drink one Monster drink, I'm already at my limit. A Starbucks venti coffee, which is their largest size, contains 416 milligrams of caffeine, whereas a Tim Hortons 24 ounce extra large only has 240. So we can see that if you are a coffee drinker, like so many people are in North America, you can very quickly hit that 400 milligrams a day limit that Health Canada suggests. Once again, remembering that if you go over, it's not a guarantee liver damage is going to occur, it's just a possibility. We all know that many people uh, eat, drink a lot more than that. Studies have actually been conducted where they have participants take up to 1,200 milligrams of caffeine a day with absolutely no liver damage. So don't worry if you go over that 400, like I said, it's not guaranteed. So if 400 milligrams in a sitting can cause liver damage, how much do you have to take in that could actually kill you? Well, according to studies that were done, about 150 to 200 milligrams per kilogram of body weight is the lethal dose in humans. So for a guy my size at 190 pounds, that means I'd have to eat 86 caffeine pills to kill myself with caffeine, or drink 86 cups of extra large Tim Hortons coffee. So realistically, you're probably not going to kill yourself from caffeine. Odds are you're actually going to kill yourself from a lot of the other stuff you're taking in other than the caffeine. So why do alcohol and caffeine go so well together? Vodka Red Bulls are a super popular shot at the bar. The reason is, is alcohol is a depressant, whereas caffeine is a stimulant. So what ends up happening is while you're getting drunk on the alcohol and it's depressing your central nervous system, the caffeine is going to then excite it and keep you awake longer. Studies have also shown that when caffeine gets mixed with alcohol, it actually hides how drunk you feel. So you may feel less drunk when you drink caffeinated alcoholic beverages than if you just had, say, a vodka crayon. So that's food for thought the next time you're at the bar and you're feeling tired and you start drinking those Red Bull shots. If you have any questions regarding supplementation or caffeine in general, please feel free to email me at the link down below, or you can visit my website and ask a question there. Thanks for watching.